Hello, baby gang says this is Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Dual Destinies on October 26, 9.45 a.m., District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. There's our man. Were you able to sleep last night? Huh? Uh, oh, sleep. Sure I slept. For a grand total of zero hours. Oh. He's here too. Guten Morgen, you two. You look like you're ready to put on a real show, well I hope so. But before you do, I have a good look gift for you. The voice print analysis came back and the results couldn't be more clear. The voice in the mock trial video and the tape recorder are one and the same. So it is a fabricated, like, voice. They're not fabricated, it's re a real voice, but they reuse the voice. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Clavier. In other words, the recordings are fabricated. Yeah, okay, I guess it is fabrication. It's the idea of it is fabricated. You're right, Apollo. Tape recorded update in the court rec record. Great. The lab is continuing their study of the tape. So far, they found signs of overdubbing. But it's going to take a bit longer to recover the audio that was erased. Thump? Who's there? Wait, who's there? Wait. Did you see who it was? No. I got a quick look, but they got away. Wait, what? I think it might have been you. I bet he was eavesdropping. Oh, dude, come on. I wonder if he saw our hand. Oh, I'm sure he wasn't the only one just now. I bet Robin and Boxer were listening in too. Man, that's a bit rough. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, but I guess it kind of makes sense because they are like, again, any means necessary. That's their whole thing in this school. I'll make sure they don't make a run for it. That's my final gift for, to you. Thank you, Clavier. Uh, someone mentioned that he is like, way more appealing when he's on our side, isn't he? <laughs> okay. All that's left now is to reach out to the truth. I... Okay, we're not gonna sing Persona 4 Golden today. <laughs> Time for a minute, my, uh, mini cords of steel workout. Let's go. I'm Apollo Justice and I'm fine! Your turn. I'm Athena Sykes and I'm fine! This is like the sweetest thing they do. It's so sweet. October 26, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom. Number four. Would you believe? All right, here we go. Yeah, presentation always off the charts in this game. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Juniper Woods. The Sykes Brigade is totally psyched. Uh, I mean, the defense is ready, Your Honor. I like the Sykes Brigade. <laughs> we should go with the Sykes Brigade. The prosecution is ready as well. Uh, I mean, isn't that right, Prosecutor Blackwell? Oh, he said he's ready as well. Because he usually does the opening statement. Yes, we're moving right along. Yesterday's adjournment was unexpected yet necessary. But I'll be running a tight ship here today, so no funny business from anybody, understood? Your boldness, Robin Newman, and you, O'Connor, have recanted their confessions. Wow. That, and I think it's probably because of the pressure, man. It's like, you know, because they don't want it to be used against them, maybe, you know? But later, I shall grill them at leisure to find whether I can chain charge them with perjury. Well, this is sure complicated matter, uh, complicates matters. Still, one must not overlook the facts. And I don't think I've charged many people for perjury, if I'm being honest with you. What do you mean? Uh, we, we don't do that in this court very often. If we did that, there'd be no characters left. Now about the school camera photo that was submitted yesterday. A pity, but that evidence is no longer relevant to the case. The art room clock runs fast. It cannot function as an accurate measure of time. As for the bungling detective who will overlook that, he's paying for his failure as we speak. I'm glad you guys agree with me, because I actually think Fulbright is genuinely, like, a better detective than, like, we've had a lot in these games. I think he's really good. Like, at least, like, his heart is in the right place, you know what I mean? His heart is there. Poor Detective Fulbright. I hope he returns to work uh, with uh, all his body parts intact, exactly, yeah. Hmm, but if that's the case, then what will we... The accused is the sole person who could have moved the body from the art room to the stage. And I mean to prove it here, this day. It's just like Detective Fulbright said. But what else does he have up his sleeve? My understanding of this heinous crime is thus. The murder took place near the center of the art room, 
as evident as evidenced by the blood stain. The blood was also found on some pottery next to the window, over the maintenance area. You know he means business when he's doing the um, opening statement himself, which is to say the body was carried over to that very window. From there, it was dropped down to the maintenance area below. And though there was an area scratched to the body aside from a fa the fatal wound, that too was per the script. A high jump mat was employed to cushion the fall. Now, we're going to try and argue at some point that this was used to transfer the body, right? In some way, shape, or form. I think so, right? Then the ball cut was used to haul the body over to the stage. That's not very clever. I mean, it's the same exact body movement scheme as the script. Anyone could have moved the body that way. Objection. Don't object to her yet. Let her speak. Your propensity to spew forward words of what you think is not very clever either. Blackwell, here's the thing, right? I'm just being completely honest with you. Like, I think you're very, I've, you're very good at what you do. Like, you're very talented at, like, manipulating the, the case. Like, because, again, you're very good as a prosecutor. You're very good at doing what you do, right? But... You have lost a few times now. And all the times you have lost, we've just proven that your evidence is faulty in the end. So let's not talk about st talking before we know the full story yet, okay? Is that okay, Mr. Blackwell? Is that okay with you? Why you... Like, imagine having this much confidence when you all of your evidence over the course of, like, three trials... Well, two trials... were just proven to be, like, completely false already. <laughs> like I wouldn't have the, again I guess you have to have the confidence maybe he has the confidence more because he's up against the first timer as well though moreover the prosecution is a witness which is most unfortunate for you witness it's time for you to come forth oh yeah oh yeah prime suspect you O'Connor <laughs> um, well then will the witness please state his name and occupation you O'Connor I'm a senior at Themis Legal Academy, and I'm studying to be a lawyer. Yesterday, I told that lawyer there that I would testify to the truth, so I intend to cooperate fully in today's trial. Happy now, Miss Sykes? You get that smile off your face right now. Uh, what's he up to now? The court appreciates your cooperation, Mr. O'Connor. Now, your testimony, please. Here we go, the first testimony of this part of the trial, at the very least. Bit nervous, but we can do this. Water Connor saw. The lecture hall was packed for the mock trial, but the rest of the campus was empty. That's when I saw Juniper dragging a large mat from behind the stage. Okay. I was watching from the vantage point between the stage and the Wait, how? no, wait a second. Okay, okay, then that does that makes even less sense. Right? Because like Again, if you look at these here. How could you see that the maintenance area would have been blocked off, dude? Because at first I was like, oh, like, how would she get behind the stage? Because then I remember, that, like, there is, like, a, uh, like, you can go around the stage, right? Um, because I remember there was a wall, but I forgot what the wall was. But if the wall is here, come from the maintenance area, then there's no way you could have seen that. What are you talking about? She was heading towards me, so I assumed she was on her way to the maintenance area. She, the main... I don't, I don't think this is good. But I didn't have time to stand around and see what she did after that. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. No, we don't believe it. The real truth hurts so much, doesn't it, Miss Sykes? Bro, you're about to- you're, we're about to change what you just said in two seconds. You said- you- uh, you literally have- you literally have said something that can be proven false, like, almost instantly. You literally just said something that can be proven false so quickly. Or maybe you thought I was going to bring up something else entirely against your client. It's a good tune. Dude, I would not be this confident. <laughs> Never snappy comeback when I need one. He's coming straight at us today using any means possible. To protect the students who would climb up the high when they're setting up the stage. A mat was brought over to the stage from the storehouse. They slapped that table. Our client is the student council president. What's wrong with her taking it upon herself to put the mat away after they use it? Objection. Don't object yet. Please let us speak. <laughs> There's plenty wrong. There's but one mat in the entire school that can cushion a fall from such lofty heights. Yeah, you, you would need a really cushiony fall. Ergo, the mat in question was indispensable to moving the body. It sucks being the last one to know everything. 
I think I get it now. Yes, we know there was drag marks, right? We knew, yeah, we, exactly. Okay, yeah, there was a space behind the, the actual place itself. Um, which is good, which is good to know. It's good, again, I know it's not good for us because it proves their point a lot, but like that means like, I honestly think that when we get more evidence, it's always, always a good thing, right? It's always a good thing. Um, I just don't know how he would have seen it. Hmm, if only the matter of the th uh, that thickness was where the body is assumed to have been dropped, it would have been hard to deny the possible link to this case. We're off to a bad start again. No, I don't think so. You sure you're okay, Athene? Th no, Apollo. He said something that, for once, I'm like so confident. <laughs> I'm just, for once, Apollo, I'm so confident. It's game on you, game on exactly, Athena. I'm going to turn your arrogant perfect score grin into a cheery eye. Because this is what I mean, right? The stage is here, right? We have it in a picture here. We know it is. The stage is here. There's no way he could have seen it if he's in at the maintenance area. There's a, like there's a, there's a whole wall, right? Look at Robin. Yeah, there's no way he could have seen it, dude. Yeah, this is this is one of those few times where I'm just like, okay, you're you're done, yeah, done. Okay, let's go straight to that statement then. Okay, well, which one was it? Yeah, so I, I I believe he, like, if we press that... Between the stage and the maintenance area. Is this the one we pressed? She was heading towards me. Yeah, right. So the first one... So I don't think it's this one we should ever present anything on because I think that like this because of the drag stains like this can be just proven true. This 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 is this is just truthful. But I think this here we can try and present this on and say there was a wall in your way, my guy. There was literally a wall in your way. So you saw the from the back of the stage from the uh, between the stage and the maintenance area. Well, let's take a look at this photo taken by Mrs. Scuttlebutt, shall we? Let's go, Miriam. Come on, Miriam. This photo shows the students setting up the stage a day before the mock trial. Do you see the big construction screen to the right of this, uh, the stage in the background here? Why well, yes, in fact there was a bunch of those next to my house until a few days ago too. We getting work done? It was so noisy behind there, but I couldn't take a peek. Oh, uh, it piqued my interest. You're like a cat. Whenever I do maintenance, like, around the home, like, you know, fixing something or something like that, or like even painting, or like, you know, doing grout work or something like that, like, like, you know, even like setting up like a shelf or something. The cats are always like, what is happening? This is our business. <laughs> Let's all gather around here as he's doing this. But I actually think it's really sweet though. Exactly, Your Honor. You cannot see past such screens. That is their purpose. Now let's see. How exactly is that screen positioned again? I think it's also to, for safety, right? It's to keep people off the, the site itself. Since it was to the right of the stage, it should be right here. That's exactly where I thought it would be, yes. And from this vantage point, the witness claims to have seen our client from behind the stage backdrop. This is so good. Oh my, but the screen would have been completely in the way. Come on, then you. Come on, you. That's right. Therefore, the witness couldn't have possibly seen our client from this point. Ah! Ouch. There we go. Okay, what's the objections coming? Objections coming. No? Order, order. Mr. O'Connor, have you been lying to this court? The screen. Uh, right. It must have slipped my mind. His eyebrow is twitching like crazy. Look at that. No, like here's the thing. If it slipped your mind, that's fine. But like, like just I think I think like I would remember if I couldn't see something. You know what I mean? If I couldn't see a body being dragged, like and there was a screen in the way, I, I that wouldn't slip my mind. What are you telling me? You you, Mr. Genius, forgot something literally as big as that. This is also an issue, by the way, if you're someone who presents themselves as like never like as someone who presents themselves as, as like the smartest person in the room, even though you may not be always the smartest person in the room. People expect you to be the smartest person in the room all the time, then. There are two kinds of memory lapses. The normal kind you mouth breathers have. Oh my god. And the genius level lapses of memory that people like me have. Okay. So you're saying that the mouth breathers don't forget that there was a giant screen in front of the body that's being dragged. You're saying that stupid people don't, 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 won't, will, will never forget that there's a screen in front of them. But geniuses forget there was a screen in front of them. That's what you're saying. 
You old dumb boy. Why don't you just admit that it was a normal everyday brain fart already? Exa Athena, exactly! I would respect you more! Will the witness now please restate what he remembers minus the lapses of memory? Judge, judge, no. Call him a liar. <laughs> judge. <laughs> That's easy. I was on the other side of the screen. Okay, go on then. In other words, I witnessed Juniper from the stage side of the screen. So now he was on that side because he wasn't on the maintenance side anymore. Side anymore. Okay. Objection. You were testifying our client was behind the stage? But need I remind this court that the back of the stage is not visible from the front? Yep. To actually see our client behind the stage from the stage side of the screen. The witness himself would also have to be in the same area behind the stage. But in that case, our client would have definitely seen Mr. O'Connor. Another brain fire? Is that what it is? Is that what's happening now? You know what this is? And this happens quite a bit. Like, it's an Ace Attorney thing for sure. But, like, it happens a bit in real life as well. Where, like, someone who's, like, so confident in their abilities to the point that it becomes arrogance... Um, that they can never see the forest from the trees. And we've seen this a few times in Ace Attorney as well, where, like, they will, like, like, they, they sit down and they, they come up with an idea. And, and, you know, you see this with, like, people who are, like, are, are very, like, probably good at lying as well, where they will, you know, and this is how they eventually get caught out. Is like, they're usually like, okay, like, of course they would believe this, because why would I be lying? Of course, why wouldn't, they, of course they believe, because I'm the smart one. Why wouldn't they believe me? And then you look at the story and you're like, this does not make any sense, you know? And then because, because they believe that they should just be believed automatically, their story sometimes is just full of holes because they didn't expect to have to fill those holes themselves. Objection! Oh god, he'll fill the holes. Here he comes, filling the holes. Fill up the holes, Blackwell. Alright, golden boy. Is this not your chance? Telling the truth will be like a weight lifted from your chest. He's right. He's right. He's right. The truth? What truth? The fact that golden boy here was where he initially stated. Okay, then you couldn't see it. That saves between the maintenance area and the stage. Objection! Yeah, we gotta object to that, but then uh, when the screen was blocked, his view of- Objection! On the ground, yes, his view would have been blocked indeed. But consider how smoke always wants to rise up high. Wait, what? What are you talking about? What are you- what are you Blackwell? What are you talking about? I think look at the photo again, do you think- Something on the other side of the screen. Something high enough to see the stage. What? No way, this crane right here- Wait, what? But I don't remember seeing a crane there on the day of the mock trial. Me neither, but it's probably safe to assume it was moved before you found the body. Oh god. That's far enough, Prosecutor Blackwell. Remember you promised- You promised what? You promised what? I recall making no such promise. It was you who came blubbering to me about keeping quiet in exchange for information. Ah. What's all this about pro that promise? Is this about whatever Blackwell is using against him? And what's it got to do with going into the crane? Golden Boy did not go up into the crane for fun. He was working part-time as a crane operator within the school ground, so he was in the crane? Wait, does he not want people to know he's, he's working part-time as a crane operator? Don't mean to tell me the high school student was operating a crane. Ah, uh, maybe because it's illegal? The witness, uh, I mean, I object to the prosecutor's last statement. I remember I was watching Yu Yu Hack show, and it's something similar to this where, I wonder if it is something similar to this where, um, the guy couldn't get a job because he had to get permission off the school he was in. Um, the, the, like, the, the young lad couldn't get a job because he had to get permission off the school he was in. Now, I wonder if that's an actual thing. Like, if in some countries, maybe you have to do have to get permission off the, the, the school before you can get a job as a teenager. Um, I know in Ireland, you can just get a job. It's like, once you turn 16, you're allowed to get a job. Uh, depending on the job but like you, and the hours, but you're allowed to just get a job. It's your business. Um, but I wonder if it is a thing where he doesn't want people to know he has a side job as a crane operator. There's no proof I ever operated that crane. There is. It's in the freaking pictures, bro. You're in the pictures. Look at this. Look at this right now. That's you! Bro, I could notice you from a mile away! <laughs> Blue hair, round, stylish glasses, that's you! We, we know it's you. 
Actually, there just might be something that proves you did. What? If this whole part-time job thing is true, I doubt it'd be limited to a single day. You'll probably work at the same time as the previous day, too. Is that what you're thinking, Athena? That's him. Yep. As the court can see, this photo captured the crane's operator. And if you look carefully, he bears a definite resemblance to Mr. O'Connor. Are you serious? This is ridiculous. I guess his hair is, like, not as blue in person, though, is it? How very interesting. Let us ascertain whether this is ridiculous as the witness maintains. Is Does he look... I don't know where I got blue hair from then. Let's see. Does he look more bluish? I guess it is kind of like a dark... No, it's black, I guess. But I guess in the nighttime, in the night sky, it looks kind of bluish. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. That's probably where I was like, oh, it's blue hair. Uh, defense agrees the prosecution. Let's bring uh, the facts to light. Hmm. That's all very well and good, but just how do you propose you to do that? Yeah, it's. I think it's. A, you can tell, look, it's a different shade. It's black, but then it's kind of blue. But yeah, yeah, that's where I got the blue from, I think. The person in the photo uh, has one really distinguishing feature. I'm not 100% sure, but it's at least worth a try. We can clearly identify the person in the photos by examining his fingerprint as hobby. Oh, is, okay. I feel like sometimes these are give me's, right? These are give me's. Like, the only, like, the only thing you can look at here is the one thing that's in the photo, which is his neck. This figure in the sword is wearing a very unique object around his neck. Why, well, yes, you can see it right there. But then, are you saying you mean to... Mr. O'Connor's neck is almost entirely concealed by his tall collar. But that's exactly why I believe this warrants further examination. No, not a chance. That would be a blatant violation of my privacy. <laughs> you are a disgrace of a man. Jesus. Now start unbuttoning that collar before I hack it off. Yeah, what's the big deal? Now let's see your neck. <laughs> Show us the neck. Guess I have no choice. Yeah, what's that? Is it like a choker? That's the friendship thing. That's the friendship thing that they have together. That must be it. Oh my. So where did you buy that neck band? If I might ask. I didn't buy it. It's handmade, so there's only one like it in the world. It is definitely the friendship thing they made. That looks like, if it's handmade, it looks like it hurts. Well, it sure looks like the neck band in the photo. Should we have uh, the photo analyzed? Athena smile. You what irritating lady. Fine, I admit it. I work part-time constru uh, construction job. It has nothing to do with our school. Operating heavy equipment is no big deal for a guy who can parallel park one-handed. But I never expected one of my jobs would take me to my own school. But when you factor in all the required test and apprenticeship period, wouldn't you have to be at least 20 to have a license for operating a crane? Oh, um, about that. You see, I'm a genius, so you know... No. Objection! Yeah, I'll please object to that. Let's dispense with the insane charade, golden boy. No, Prosecutor Blacko, please don't! High school seniors are 19 at most. Thus, they fail to complete the requirements. But that does not apply to you. Does it, Mr. O'Connor? What? What age is O'Connor? He's 18. Wait, what? Why doesn't apply? He's a senior, so he's around that age, right? No, don't, please. Actually, Golden Boy here is 25. What? He took a seven year. What is happening? Wait. Come again? What? Take a guy to the official school's enrollment documents. It's all right. Like, here's the thing. It's it's a law school, right? Where, like, like you know, they're all, like... I get it, because, like... Yeah. Like, but... What? So, did he even tell his friends? Because, like, they're all, like, you know, like... like they're all, they're all, like, um... A similar age, I thought. Because, like, you know, 18, 18, 18. 
You know what I mean? I thought like, you know, th like that's why they became friends. What the hell? Why are you put that? So you're not this like young prodigy is what this is why he doesn't want people knowing this It's not because of the age thing. It's because he doesn't want people knowing that he's a, a freaking he's not a prodigy He has a fully developed brain That's why he's like super good at this 25 you mean he's older than me a 25 year old high school student Seven year break, seven years. I've just one thing to say. There are two kinds of seven year br The ordinary kind you mouth breeders take? Dude, dude, here's the thing. Like, like, don't even try this. And the genius kind people like me take. Bro, I'm never gonna judge you for taking a break, man. So just like, stop. Like, just tell us like, but a genius will clearly become a chore for a seven year break. A genius would, but a genius will clearly become a chore for a seven year break. What? Am I reading this wrong? A genius would quickly become a chore for a seven year break. I'm, I'm dumb maybe. A genius would quickly become a chore. Okay. I think you have that backwards. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I was like, am I I'm so dumb. Yeah, it would come a chore for a genius. Even geniuses make mistakes. True, that's fine. I just happened to make mine only seven years in a row. What What mistake are you making? Dude, like what the hell? Liar, liar, plants, plants for hire. Like why? Why are you lying? If you're allowed into the school at 25, to do your law you do your law degree or whatever, do your law school thing. Like like here's the thing, we have lawyers here who are like literally working at 18 right now in, in Athena. You know what I mean? So like I'm not gonna say anything like that, but like if you're allowed to do this, why are you lying? We need to find out why you're lying. Only you could get away with using only like that. Enough of this jibber jabber. Suffice to say the witness was up in the crane when he saw the accused dragging the mat. But like, here's the thing, I always think about this stuff, it's like, if he's lying, if he's lied several times now, and they're about to, in fairness, he's about to prove the first part not a lie, but the Q is ready to all that she needed to move the body immediately prior to doing so. That much is clear, I see no need to deliver, yeah, but like, what the, we're just moving on from the age thing? Like, I'd like to know why he lied, I'd like to know, like, you know, what other people thought of it, maybe. Now, here's the thing. I totally understand in this situation, like, like the, the you know, the going on to the school beyond the, the, the trial and the crime. None of my freaking business. It just caught me off guard a little bit. You know what I mean? It just caught me off guard. Hmm, considering the body was moved in the same manner as the script, I find Prosecutor Blackwell's claim to be quite persuasive. Does the defense care to dissuade me? Well, see, I think that we have to, like, think outside the box at some point of this script. We have to think outside the box of the script. We can't just use that as evidence forever. As long as Matt was used to move the body, Junie's going to go be under suspicion. Athena, I just taught us something. What was you doing in the crane right before the mock trial? He was setting up the stage, right? The backdrop? He could have been on the job at, the, uh, at that time. <gasps> oh, you mean like what he was doing right before the mock trial? Yeah, why was he in the crane? Wait, you don't think... Your Honor? Yes, Miss Sykes? I've got it. I've got an amazing idea that will turn the prosecution's claim on its head. A little conjecture has never stopped us before, yes, for sure. Interesting. Mr. O'Connor, you were using the crane to... move the screen... Move yourself, move the body. Is this when we start saying that it was this that that it was this thing here? Sorry, it was this thing here. That he used this to move the body, so we could say move the body. The body was just like it was in the script, so it must have been moved like in the script too. At least that's what the prosecution believes. How simplistic, even foolish. Oh my God, Athena coming in with a how foolish.
Those are pretty strong words, Athena. You sure about this? The witness is a licensed crane operator, so he could have used it to move the body. Objection! Oh, you object? You object? Objecty wecky! Uh, well, Golden Boy, care to chime in? I intend to say no more on the matter. Wow! Save that this does not bode well for you. Wait, he's on my side this time? Or is this just another trap? He has let us go down the rabbit hole before just to pull us right out, so... Uh, or just to wait for us at the other side. Watch this. Oh. This is a really cool animation. I can use a bow and arrow one-handed. Okay. Wow. That's a crazy level of dexterity. I can even drive a crane with one hand. That's easy. But operating the crane itself is so complex it requires both hands. Now, I would have the court look at this. Oh, wow. Look at these special anime. Oh. He did have bloody hands. Please tell me that's a ketchup stain. You wish my hand was injured and required surgery. Surgery? That's the reason I kept my hand in my pocket all this time. I've already verified this isn't with the hospital of treatment. Quite a nasty wound, they say. So, how did you hurt it? I see no need to discuss that. It has no relevance to this ca It will. It will. Because you had bloody hands that night. Two hands are required to operate a complex machinery such as a crane. Ergo, on the day of the mock trial, the witness was incapable of moving the body by, uh, by crane. Now I'm the fool? He, again, like I said, he, Black was very good at this. He will let us, like, go down the rabbit hole ourselves and wait for us on the other side. He will do that, you know? I planned uh, on moving the crane that night just uh, before the mock trial, but then I got injured. Wanted to keep my part-time job a secret. I had to do it just before the mock trial instead. Uh, and here I thought this was a big break we were waiting for. How, how is it secret when, like, Robin and Cleveland knows about this? They were there when you were using the crane. And the teacher. Mr. Means. Now the defense's sophistry is laid bare. I would have the court recall my claim. Okay, well, let's recall his claim. Let's recall the claim. The body was dropped out of a third floor window to a mat near the maintenance area. Then the ball cart was used to move to the stage. See, I've been paying attention. Congrats. Well done, your baldness. Now consider this. The accused was sighted dragging that mat. Ergo, it was, it was one who moved. Uh, it was she who moved the body. No, that was you. Well, I think we're on the right track, Athena. I think so. I think that we have to. We have to break free. Um, of um, the shackles of this being ex exactly like the script. I think they wanted to, th uh, the, the killer wants it to be like that. I think we need to break free from those shackles, you know? You do? Yeah, June remains the prime suspect if you assume the body was moved per her script. Exactly. Yeah. So as a defense, you have to figure out how else the body could have been moved. But, but, oh, was he telling me to think of another way besides the crane? Exactly, yes. Miss Sykes. If you have a counter on this court, we'd like to hear it. And if... If you do not, it's time for the verdict. Isn't that correct, your boldness? Oh, I love these tense moments. Objection. Oh, we're objecting? No, not yet. All I have to do is show that the body wasn't moved like it was in the script. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and we have an idea. Well, that would show that the matter had nothing to do with the case. There's a sort of great renown that cuts down sophist sophistic lawyers. In the na its name is Evidence. Okay, let's go. You don't scare me. Force a smile at the end. You can do it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and again, this is very Apollo Justice kind of thing way of looking at it. What's wrong with your face, Athena? It's a weird mix of terror and creepy grit. I think it's a lovely smile. Just focus on how the body could have been moved without it being dropped. How could anyone lower it without just dropping it? It's not like it could have fly. It could. It could in a way, in a way. Or maybe it could, exactly. After all, there is a way to zip between the hour room and the stage. Yes, Athena. Yes. Someone could have easily used that thing. Oh, 
Why, yes, of course. Miss Sykes, the court would like to see what you have for us. All I have to do is show the tiniest shred of possibility. That's it, yep. The man in the ball cart weren't used to move the body. That is what we... Yeah, instead it was the... This thing. Take that. Yep. That's all we have to do. We have to open up the possibility. The key here is the thing that ties the hour room and the stage together. Might I propose an idea? It might do well to tie your lips together lest you further expose your ignorance. I'll let you slap the table a few more times just so it'd be a lot sweeter for me. Go on. Yeah, keep slapping it. Go on. Give you a few more. Give you two more. I'll give you another one. There you go. Come on, one more. One more. I just know his taco laughs as well. It's really funny. This isn't exactly the time for black comedy, Prosecutor Blackwell. Anyway, the court will recall the wire on which the school banner was hung. The wire that was strung between the art room and the stage, which allowed the students uh, to run or reel in the school banner from the art room. The body could have easily been lowered down to the stage via this wire. Oh, you're donezo. You're donezo. Objection. Spare me your armchair theories. This wasn't some kind of high wire act. The body surely would have fallen. Nope. Yet there are no signs of blood for- No, 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 no. It was, it was a really good knot. It was a really good knot. Oh, you surprised me, Prosecutor, Bla Prosecutor Blackwell. You didn't actually think I failed to account for that? I'm sure it's exactly what he thought. Exactly. Yes, Apollo. Yeah, he expected us to be ignorant in this situation. We investigated the stage yesterday. There's the box. The bottom part of the school banner had been tied to a, a pouch just like uh, a pouch-like shape. And pouches are useful for carrying things. What do you think uh, this one could have carried? The music's so good. Well, go on, please explain. The body was bundled into a pouch-like section of the banner and sent down the wire. Oh my god, look at that. The body would have been, would have been down the, on the stage in a flash, and there'd be no need for a mat. There we go. I, I honestly say we, we arrest uh, Prosecutor Blackwell now. I've heard the phrase carrying the banner, but the banner doing the carrying? Objection! <laughs> I've no patience for you in your cheap parlor tricks. Your claim is as shaky as a course before in that absurd high wire act. If you have an actual objection, then just come out and say it. This is why I love Athena. Athena to just be like, if you actually have something to say, freaking say it. You know what I mean? If you have something useful to say, then say it. I trust you caught the bloodstains on the left uh, on the art room pottery. The music's so good. If the wire had been used to move the body, it would have to be via the window above the quad, the one with the winch. However, the bloodstained pottery was next to the window above the maintenance area. Okay. Ergo, the wire and the banner had not at all to do with this case. That's such, that's flimsy, Judge. Judge, that's so flimsy. Judge, we're not taking that. Oh? Um, no, uh, no, 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 that's really, Judge, we're not taking that. For This is the first time in this entire game across three trials that I've thought that your comeback was a little flimsy, Blackwell. This doesn't look good. And the reason I think, okay, the reason I think it's a little bit flimsy is because, like, you could easily push, put that pottery back in another place. You could easily move the pottery around the place. Like, this is not, so, like, unless we can prove that it wasn't moved around the place, I don't think you can use that as, like, a, you know, because there's not blood anywhere else either. There's not blood on the other side of the window. There's not blood, uh, you know, anywhere else uh, in the room, right? You know what I mean? I, on the, apart from the pottery. But then again, that, okay, I'm going to correct myself a little bit and say, you know, Calvin's going to pay his dues. He was a little wrong. I guess you could use the pottery saying this is the only place with blood. There's no blood in any other area. So that means that must have been here. That, that makes sense. Okay, I take it back, Blackwell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what? You're right. That could be that could be used as something. Well, Miss Sykes, I hope you have something better this time than a circus act. No, I don't, Your Honor. I rest my case. And why my if my is true, then the blood on the party must not have been the victim's blood. It's it's his blood. It's freaking use. Right? Because he was, he was bleeding. Maybe it's not the victim's blood. Did the police check to see from whom the blood on the pottery came from? Shame on you, Sykes Dono. Have a little more respect for the constabulary. No. Oh, unless it's Fulbright. There he is. There's my man. How are you doing, buddy?
Oh god, no. He's the only one who lose loud due to the Ubu face. Fulbright. Looks like they didn't check it. Oh god. And don't let it get you down, Prosecutor Blackwell. Everyone makes a mistake. Seeing this to our Prosecutor Blackwell is like so good. Athena is so good at sassing back. Spare me your cheek. No, no, we will know. No, no, we will. We will not know either way until tests are run. Yeah, but I think she deserves a bit of cheek. If you slapped the table and laughed at her, she deserves to be a bit cheeky with you. I am O. True, but in the meantime, I'm going to press my claim as far as I can. Exactly, Athena. We opened up a new new line of questioning. Your ball is demanded the blood and the pottery be analyzed this instant. Of course, it shouldn't take long to get the results back. Oh, we just got them back? Oh my, that was quick. We're history if it turns out to be the victim's blood. Please, please, please. Oh yeah, please, please let it be someone else's. I was saying it myself. Oh, that's a good one. It seems the blood was not from the victim. What? Furthermore, a comparison with other parties involved with this case reveals that the blood belongs to one you, O'Connor! Exactly what we wanted. The exact result we wanted here. That is what's going to prolong this case long for what we need it to be. Love it. Love it. Score. Yeah, ex Athena, score. For sure. That's what we needed. We needed that aspect. For sure. Oh, her little cough. Don't worry, Junie. Just try to relax. Use hands. His hands are dripping with blood. Exactly, yeah. Your Honor, as we saw earlier, the witness's left hand had suffered a serious injury. He sustained the wound in his struggle with the victim, and his blood got on the pottery. The junior saw his blood stain the hands as they passed each other in the, uh, in the first floor hall. It's the only explanation that covers everything. There we go. Objection. Oh, an objection. There is but one way now to turn aside her blade. But do not cast the blame on me. Your grudge with Sykes don't know. For it is she who forces me to expose your secret. So he's saying, hey, blame her for what I'm about to do. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. That's a man who understands that something bad is about to happen. Wow, how much dirt does he have on you? Oh my god, the court will observe this odd looking at Oh my god, it's like a bleed. Oh wait, what the hell? It's a trap envelope? Jigsaw? Like, what's happening here? Look at that. It looks like if you, if you open it, the paperclip activates something and it cuts your hand. It was inside the mirror skull, but script was found. Wait, what? So he, oh my god, that's horrible. Miss Skull, but didn't the prosecution already claim that? This envelope is the one that contained your script. The circumstances have changed. You see, Golden Boy had hidden this from us all. Let's see here, my word, talk about the world's most painful paper cut. Great line. Indeed, you can clearly see that this if this envelope is not opened correctly, a powerful spring-loaded blade will shoot forth, leaving a horrible gash upon the hand. The only one who had been told the correct way to open it was Constance Court. You still should be arrested for doing anything like this, honestly. You even want to see my script that bad? Well, you better watch out. Read it without my permission and you'll wish you hadn't. Yeah, okay. I guess it is her property, so she's allowed to do whatever she wants with it, I suppose. If you touch someone else's property. Like, say, like, if you, like, tried to open someone else's door. Well, no, no. I guess, yeah, no, right? Say if you tried to, op like, break into someone's house or something. And they put thumbtacks on their windowsill and you got hurt by the thumbtacks. You're not, it's not gonna be like, you're not gonna get arrested for that. It's like, hey, you, you, you sat on my thumbtack collection, you know? Yikes. Miriam wasn't kidding when she said that. The blood and the blade is the witnesses. Our genius here tried to sneak a peek at the wrong script. Oh, that must hurt so bad. Ah, can you imagine getting a freaking box cutter to your hand? Oh, that would be so sore. And he paid for his foolishness. That would be so sore. Ouch! This guy's the worst genius I've ever seen. Uh, yep, I agree. He's no uh, Bagaru anyway. 
Don't worry, Athena. The wound isn't that deep. We still got uh, the wire theory. Yeah, I've got it. Since the blood by the window is overlooking the maintenance area isn't the, uh, the victims. There's no longer any basis for denying the body was moved using the wire and the banner. Exactly. Yep. Therefore, the defense once again asserts just that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. What you got? What you got? What you got? You call yourself a lawyer? Huh. <laughs> Don't you see a glaring contradiction in your thinking? Well, you call yourself an 18 year old, so, like, who are we talking about here? Huh? The court would like to remind the witness that his role is not to point out. <laughs> and you? How can you adhere to such outdated beliefs? But whatever. It seems you've forgotten the two statues are on stage directly below the wire. A body since sliding on the wire would have crashed into them. Care to explain that away? It did! It did crash into them! They broke! They broke! Dude, you're terrible! I believe he's right. The statues on the wire are extremely close together. Dude, they, uh, this is the first time I've ever like been to like a witness. Cause here's the thing, we would be a lot more lenient on this witness if he didn't call himself a genius. <laughs> I'm not the brightest uh, bulb uh, bulb in the hardware store, right? For sure. They sell me at a discount because I'm faulty. But here's the thing, right? 100%. How on earth would you think that that's... I don't know. That, we know they're broken. What if they did... Exactly, Athena. Wait, that's it. Exactly. Speaking of those statues, we still don't know how they were broken exactly. But if we were to assume the body crashed into them, there's an answer. There's an answer. That would also explain the loud sound we heard while we were in the waiting room. Now that you mention it, you and Mr. Wright were, went out to the stage after you heard that sound, correct? Objection. There you go. Interesting. How very interesting. But may I ask just one question? When was it that you heard that sound? Around the same time that I was, uh... That I was... Calling you an idiot. You stinky. It was after the mock trial that started. Mr. Wright and I were practically bored to tears in the waiting room when... Precisely, if that sound you heard did happen while the body was being moved. That would place it during the mock trial. Oof, which means the body wouldn't have been there before the mock trial started. You see, right before the mock trial started, I saw the body. Okay, wait, maybe you saw the body somewhere else? He said he saw the body before the mock trial, but you have to take his word for it, though. That's the only thing we can do. We have to take his word for it. And Robin's, right? Then I claim that the boy did Robin see it before? And I, I forget. The body was moved during the mock trial. It doesn't hold water. But wait, we have to take his word for it, though. It's going to get me in our case killed. It, no, but should we take his word for it? Judge. The focus on just the three suspects because the body was moved before the mock trial. That has been the major premise thus far. Your assertion, therefore, contradicts the very foundation of this case. Objection. Both sides, is both sides still lack incontrovertible evidence. So should we not also treat Golden Boy's testimony with some... Yes! Oh my god, Blackwell, I agree. Hmm. Good point. I agree so much. Prosecutor Blackwell is on our side. I wouldn't see it like that, Athena. We've seen this before. I bet he's figured out the truth behind this case. Well, great, as long as he's not up to something else. If the statues really were broken when the body hit them, then you statement about seeing the body before the mock trial is a big fat lie. Okay, Mr. O'Connor, let's get to the bottom of this contradiction about, what you, about when you saw the body. Look me straight in the eyes and repeat your statement to me. Uh, like I said before, uh, before the mock trial, the body was, you know... I should only say this once, Golden Boy. You'll best tell the truth and do it now. That is, if your head wishes to enjoy the continued companionship of your body. He said he's gonna chop your head off. He's gonna chop it right off. Now, I win it. Did you truly witness the body? Or were you just lying about it? Well, 
Which is it? You what? I... They're both cornering. This is so freaking cool. This is so neat that they're both cornering him. I love when this type of stuff happens. I never saw... That's what I think. I never saw the body. There you go. Are you sure about that? Lie to this court again and charge you with perjury. No, you won't. Don't, don't even say that. I love... I love... When they do that stuff where they both corner the witness together. It's so cool. There was no body on the stage. I've been lying about this whole time. Yeah, okay. We kind of, I kind of figured that at this point. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, 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 no. We got, as soon as, like, as soon as we found, like, we, we, because the, the breaking of the statues is what broke it for me. When the statues broke, it was like, okay, like, like, that makes the most perfect sense. That's what would have broken the statues. But why would he lie about this to begin with? Order. The base premise of the body was moved before the mock trial has been overturned. I imagine this has an impact on both the defense and the prosecution's case. Well, first I'd like to thank the prosecutor. This brings us one step closer to the truth. Now at least we know the body was moved using the wire and the school banner. Indeed, that much I shall concede, Sykes Dono. The body was moved as you stated, in the midst of the mock trial. Hmm, so both sides are satisfied then? Hmm. If the body was moved before the mock trial, we have our three suspects. But the move took place in the midst of the mock trial is an entirely different story. Right. All three suspects were in the mock trial. That gives them solid alibis. This is so weird because I feel like Blackwell, like, agrees with Athena more often than, like, a lot of other, um, lawyers. Objection! Hmm. <laughs> How simplistic. Did you forget about the student in charge of the audio? Admits the mock trial. There was one soul who could have uh, leave and re-entered the lecture hall. What's this? Who is this person in charge of the audio? Oh no, how could I forget it was? Juniper, yeah. What's the deal here? Why is Juniper so large in this shot? She's a very good side profile as well. Juniper was also in charge of the audio. When she was, wasn't in the trial, she was in the audio control room dealing with the music. Oh, no. Indeed, the one who could enter the audio room missed the mock trial to move the body. Was none other than the accused Juniper Woods, for she was in charge of the audio. Uh, no! Yeah. Well, yes, I see. That does make perfect sense. Let's not make it perfect sense, though. Let's not. This can't be happening. Instead of exposing you as crime, Juni is even in even deeper. It's fine. Darkest before the dawn. Yeah, it's it, we have to go darker. We have to go darker before the dawn. No matter how you slice it, we're cooked. And here I thought Prosecutor Blackwell was on our side. No, no, no. Again, yeah, at least... In, yeah, no, the, I understand that feeling because, again, you know, there's probably famous stories of, like, especially if you, if you know Phoenix Wright, of, like, Edward and Phoenix working together. But that was, like, in a moment where Edward realized, like, if I defend this guy if I sorry if I defend this person I'm just wrong and I, I will I will go to hell. I will like go, if there was a hell I'd go to it you know what I mean he like they both knew like it was the right thing to do uh, the twisted samurai strikes again twisted it's more like a dirty rotten you tell him <laughs> your boldness it is time to put an end to this farce no 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 no. let's not judge the prosecution has presented a quite convincing case but the defense has one last chance to voice any remaining objections. Well, Miss Sykes, should we? What are we going to do? I've got nothing left. Nothing. Nada. Niente. I would try to think of something, but I'm drawing a big blank, too. Oh, uh, poor Junie. Unless we figure out something, she'll be... Objection. Objection. Um, well, I object to... What do we do? We object... Come on, hold it. It's okay. We can object to something. Who's saying hold it? Who's saying hold it? You? <laughs> Stop right there. Why are you objecting? 
Why are you saying hold it? All it used to be is time you heard about the rare genius of you. What are you doing? <laughs> what? What are you doing? Listen, and you'll hear the secret behind my perfect cry. No. No, he's he's so he's so into himself that the idea of even not lie oh my god. He's so into himself that he cannot even like let us win if it means he's not shown off as a genius. And I'm not he was like, you know, not let himself go free if he's not showing off as a genius. He's he's about to he's about to get everything he wanted, but he's like, you know, you have to understand I'm a genius. Oh, the music's awesome here. Perfect. Crime. Yeah. Oh my god, that's how that again, this is why I love Ace Attorney characters. Their characters stick true to themselves. The music's so good with some serious deja food. Didn't we just go through something like this yesterday? Yeah, we we did. This better not be another one of his enraging traps. Song so good, Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix would be so proud of these two. Phoenix would be so proud of these two. Song so good. And by proud of me, I know they didn't do this, but this is such a Phoenix moment to be on your last legs, and then I, 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 a witness's character is what gives them up. Like you know, the music's so incredible. The murder moving the body, the cover of it's all sprung from my brilliant. You, you, you. Well, go ahead. Arrest me. The real killer is right before... What are you doing? Order, order, I say. Mr. O'Connor, you already confessed yesterday. The narrator say you recanted your confession. Yeah, he would. it would be really difficult to get, like, to accept his confession. As you mouth readers could comprehend my genius. As if you... Oh, sorry. As if you mouth readers could comprehend my genius. The ends justify the means. He says that again. Now bow down and kneel. Kneel before my great and maddening intellect. Objection! Yeah, please do something, Blackwood, because I'm I'm stunned. Enough. The only thing maddening is the ignominy you bear for us all to see. For it is impossible to have been the perpetrator behind this crime. Ah. Uh, there is no perfect crime, only a perfect alibi. For you were at the mock trial. Yeah, there we go. So again, but. What's happening here then is like he did you know, he's right. You didn't do it, right? If you didn't do it, let's say. Let's say you didn't do it. It's still his there's something in him that won't let him that won't let himself go free. With people thinking that he just maybe clumsily went into this. Cause anyone else would just let themselves go free, unless someone has something hanging over him as well. And it's still that I was remind you of this. But you were a participant in the entire time. There should be no mercy. If you persist in hindering this trial with your silly little act. I can't get over the music. You doesn't seem the least bit shaken by the Black Wolf's threat. Yeah, he's, he's getting back his confidence. Listen, Mr. Prost Prosecutor, calling that a perfect alibi is beyond contempt. Your Honor, I'd like to take this opportunity to offer further testimony. What are you doing? This has helped us? So my thought process on this is that this... He's he's helping us out here, but I'm wondering if this help is coming from a place of just like if he if he knows the truth or something, or if he's like trying to like if he doesn't want to be seen as just fumbling into winning, right? He doesn't want because right now he looks like a bit of an idiot, right? Like in the eyes of the public, the public would be like, oh, that guy was kind of stupid the way he where everything worked out because like, yeah, he got off free, but like man, he like he he made a lot of mistakes along the way, and I don't think that he would want people to think that about himself. I wonder what the real, like, again, this is really interesting of why he would actually do this. Because he's, he's so close to just be not going to prison. You know what I mean? He's so close. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, like, it's just like, it's, there has to be some explanation for it. My first explanation was like, oh, he just like, he, he, he did do it. And he just, what, like, he doesn't, he just, he just can't comprehend the idea of like someone saying that someone else did or someone taking credit for his genius or he didn't do it and he's gonna take the fall anyway because he doesn't want people thinking he's stupid i wonder i wonder guys we're gonna end the video here and we're gonna come back in the next one with the next part of his testimony because i'm getting guessing he's gonna get to testify again let's see actually let's see i will now demonstrate the very moment of the genius yeah there you go the genius tra that transition in, in even perfection he really wants him to be seen like this okay yeah for sure for sure use confession 
this is where we'll end the video, guys, and we're going to come back, use confession. So he's confessing to it. Thank you to Ty for our 2 JB Bull, Janet the Banana, The Ghost of Inazuma, Felicious Felix, Eskun, uh, Yuld, Radish, Anusa, Shabbat or Bread, Malcolm Conde, Death Trap, and Link's Marking. Guys, I will see you all so soon. Probably the conclusion of this trial, it looks like.